Georgia is one of the key swing states of U.S. presidential elections. DD in the correspondent Shubhendu Ghosh talked to Bob, a council member of city of Johns Creek, being one of the uh, first elected members of the city council from the Indian American community in Georgia. Bob talks about his experience in public service, issues and political significance of Indian community in Trump-Harris close contest. We are in Atlanta. I have with me one of the first Indian American person elected to public office here in Georgia, uh, Mr. Bob Eramali, member of the John Creek City Council. Uh, Mr. Eramali, welcome to uh, DD India. Now, first, I want to learn from you your experience as an Indian American holding a public office here in Georgia. Wonderful. Uh, I was serving in the Indian Air Force as a combat pilot. There I learned that if not you, who else? If you don't defend, who else will defend? The same ethos, I got it to my adopted country and my city, Johns Creek City. So therefore, when I ran for election, amazingly, the city is so agnostic to race, color, and country of origin. To just give you an idea, I got voted by about close to 60% of Caucasian people and about 10-12% of Indian people. So that shows that this, this city is... Uh, kind of merit oriented rather than you know where you come from what you represent what uh, nationality you belong or origin country of origin or something like that right and, and here I, we are uh, looking at the presidential elections and i also want to uh, broaden uh, the question about indian americans uh, what is the political significance of indian americans in america in general and georgia as a swing state in particular typically uh, indians vote around 20 to 25 percent for Repub republicans mm -hmm. Uh, President Trump managed to increase it to around 30-35% last time around. And then uh, it so happened that this time they're almost close to 30-35% are expected to vote for President Trump. So I think we play a significant pivotal role as much pretty, very much like uh, the Jewish population, which is uh, about double the size of ours. And, and finally coming to the big contest, Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris. Uh, what kind of contest are we looking at according to you? I think if uh, the issues in the center stage are uh, illegal immigration, for which we had fair amount of, uh, since I'm also in the city council, I know firsthand the uh, city chief of police comes and gives us a brief on what kind of uh, law and order situ situation prevails. And we do get an idea that we should be controlling uh, this illegal immigration. So that is an issue and the, and the inflation. See, that's how at one point in time, last four years, we had an inflation of 8%. That is unheard of. And uh, especially when somebody left it at 1.75%. President Trump left it at 1.75%. Right. On that note, Mr. Bob and Abelie, thank you very much for speaking with Eat India. Thank you, Mr. Ghosh. Very nice. It was uh, one of the first Indian American uh, person elected to public office here in uh, Georgia with camera person Jashankar Shubhendu Ghosh for Didi India in Atlanta.